Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my all day clean with me. This is the first cleaning video that I have done in quite a long time so I'm glad to be back with one of these. The last few months have just been a bit crazy with the new baby and having two young kids to look after so I have a lot of cleaning to catch up on. I really just want to get the house in order today and get things kind of back to normal so that it's easier to keep on top of it. So I'm going to be starting off in the bedroom. There is just a big mess from getting ready in the morning, a huge pile of clean washing that needs folded and put away and the place just needs a good clean. So I'm going to be using my new Sephora today. This is Summer Breeze. It's a really nice fresh scent and I am going to be using that with my microfiber as always. I am just starting off with the shelf because I like to start from the top and work my way down, especially since there's a lot of dust gathered on these shelves. And now I'm going to strip the bed. This is something that I normally do on a Sunday, but I'm just taking full advantage of this time and just stripping the full bed, including the mattress protector. I'll usually put that through the wash every couple of weeks um, just to keep that fresh as well. I think that's really, really important to have one of those, especially when you have kids. Um, so I'm just going to get this all done first thing in the morning, get it through the washing machine and get it outside because it's a nice and sunny day. And now I'm just going round all the surfaces with my Zaflora spray and a microfiber and just getting rid of any marks or dust and just giving it a general clean. And now it's time for the worst bit, this huge pile of clean washing. And now we're just moving on to this little area of the room. This is where we accumulate the most junk and things that just don't have a place always end up sitting on these drawers. So it feels good to finally put them away and to give the drawers a wipe down and to try and keep this as clear as possible. And on these mirrors, I'm just using windowing as always, just to get all the little marks off. I actually can't reach up to the top, as you can probably see, but they don't really tend to have marks up there anyway. Um, it's just really up to my height and slightly above that ever gets cleaned. And now it's time to do the floor. I am going to be using our cordless Dyson. This is a B10 animal and we got it around Christmas time. It took me a wee while to get used to it and I couldn't decide whether I liked it or not. But now I absolutely love it and I would definitely recommend it. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. But I love the fact that we can change up the heads and make it suitable for whatever it is that we're cleaning. So I'm just using it on the wooden flooring and then I'm going to go over with the good old spray mop. In this spray mop I do have a mixture of water and the Flash Blossom Breeze 
um, multi-surface cleaner so I've been using that on the floors and it's really really good. So that is this room finished, I'm just going to open the window just to air it out and let in some fresh air and I'm going to freshen the place up with some Febreze. This is the Fruity Tropics spray and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've got one of these for the house and one for the car because I cannot get enough of this scent. It's so nice and summery and as you might know already I'm not using candles in our house anymore. So this is a good little replacement for when I've been cleaning and I want the house to smell really nice and fresh. And now we're going to move on to the bathroom and give everything a really good clean. I actually don't mind cleaning the bathroom at all because I'm obsessed with the smell of the flash bathroom spray. This was like my main craving when I was pregnant and to be honest it's not really gone away. I just absolutely love the smell of this and I love using it with my bathmatic sponge. So that's what I'm starting with today. I'm just going to spray it all over the bath and I'm also putting some on the tiles because these can get quite grubby as well. And I'm just going to use warm water to lather it all up. And then it's just hot water from the shower just to rinse everything down. This is definitely not a deep clean of the bathroom. It's quite a quick clean because I'm planning on doing the whole house. But what I really want to do is get the house back in order and then go back in and do a deep clean of every room. If I can get the time to do that this weekend, I will definitely be filming an update on this. So on this worktop I like to use the bathmatic as well just to lather it all up because it does get a really good shine from it. So once I've done that I will use a microfiber just to get rid of all the bubbles and just to dry it off a little bit. And then I use a second microfiber to go over it again. This just is completely dry and it really shines it up and you get such a nice result from it. And then I'm back in with the window lane, I'm just putting this all over the radiator and I'm putting it up onto the tiles as well. These ones are right where the window reflects and you can see any mark that is on these tiles. So the window lane is actually a really good product to use on it. And then I'm just going to speed this bit up because I really just feel weird about showing this in cleaning videos. I'm just cleaning the toilet down with a microfiber flash bathroom spray and then I'm going to be cleaning the inside with some bleach. We have a potty in here just now for Oliver but he actually has never used it before so I'm basically just dusting it. Um, we're planning on potty training in the next week or so so I've just been leaving it out so he can get used to seeing it. And lastly, I'm just doing the floor as usual. I'm just getting down on my knees to do it because it's such a small space. So I'm back to using the Ziflora on the floor with another microfiber and just giving it a good scrub. So as usual with a full house clean, with every room that I'm cleaning there is a trail of destruction and this is what our hall looks like as I've been cleaning every other room. So I'm going to just catch up on this just now. I'm not actually going to be doing Oliver's room in this video because we are redecorating it just now and there's like paint samples everywhere, half the room has been plastered, it's just nobody needs to see that. So I have such a love-hate relationship with this carpet because it is such a light colour, it shows up every single thing 
on it but when it's freshly hoovered I just think it looks amazing I absolutely love the colour of it and to freshen that up I'm just using the 1001 carpet fresh spray this is a linen scent and it smells so good so I'm back for phase two I had a little break to make dinner and put the boys to bed and look at the mess that was caused in that time it's just got worse and worse at least upstairs is still clean so now that they're sleeping I am just going to get started and get this place sorted First of all, I'm just heading outside to get the clothes dryer things back in. Um, we have been drying the bed sheets out there all day to get them nice and fresh. So I'm going to bring that stuff in and then I'm just going to get started on tidying because there's so much stuff everywhere. And then good old Sephora is back. I'm just going to clean the table. All of our had spaghetti bolognese tonight and it got absolutely everywhere so I had the lovely task of trying to scrape it off because I've let it dry in now and I need to try and get his high chair cleaned too. So if I do get time to do a deep clean this weekend, the first thing I want to do is this couch. I really want to take it all apart and fluff up all these cushions properly, dust underneath and hoover the full thing and wipe it and just give it a bit of a makeover because it's looking a bit underloved just now, shall we say. And this is the floor after every single meal time with Oliver, his pasta just ends up everywhere. I don't use the hoover to pick up any bits of food or anything so I just don't like the idea of it. And to be honest the Dyson doesn't do that very well um, under his high chair so I've just got used to now brushing that up and then I'll go over it with the hoover when I'm doing the rest of the room. So every time I show this high chair I always get asked about it. So this is the Stoke Steps chair, we've used this from when Oliver was like five months old and you can take bits off and add bits on depending on what age they are. This is at the bigger bit now so he is now just in the chair and he loves it. So I had to add in a clip of this extremely satisfying process where I'm just sorting out these fringes with the hoover it really just straightens them up but it's so satisfying and i think it actually looks a lot better so i'm just doing a quick hoover now under the table and picking up any other crumbs that i've missed and obviously just going over again with the mop and getting the floor nice and clean So I'm just going to clean these windows while Oliver is in bed but this will genuinely only stay clean until the morning because he loves to touch the glass. So I'm just using the window lean and microfiber again and getting rid of all those sticky food handprints that are all over the glass. And then at last it is about half past nine by now and we are just getting started on the kitchen. This is obviously the worst room because it's the last one that I've got to but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. I always do a clockwise clean in the kitchen and I always start over at the cooker, tidying up the worktop, spraying it down and then moving to the next area and I always end up at the dishes. So I've got quite a good little process in place for cleaning the kitchen. So 
So you might have noticed from my cleaning videos in the past that we don't actually have a dishwasher, we just don't have room for it in this small kitchen. So I am the dishwasher, I'm just getting all these dishes caught up on. Can you believe this is only since probably late afternoon? This is how many dishes we've got through, it's just ridiculous. And now that the dishes are done, I'm just giving the sink a wipe down, cleaning that little plug and I've given it a spray of Zephora as well just to disinfect it. So because it's so late, I don't want to risk putting the hoover on and waking the boys up, so I'm just using the brush to do the tiles in the kitchen and the hallway. This floor space gets so dirty so quickly um, and obviously because our tiles are so light, it shows up instantly. So it always feels good and makes a really big difference once we've swept up. And finally we're done, I'm just celebrating with a Febreze spray. And yeah, that was the longest clean ever but I'm so glad it's done. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know if you'd like to see more cleaning videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.